It is uh, certainly very important for us in the ministry in charge of science to uh, foster this cooperation and to uh, bring science diplomacy to a much better, uh, to a much more intense uh, and, and fruitful effect in Spain. It is very important for us. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome you all to the Spanish Agency for International Development Cooperation. It is a pleasure for us to host the first global meeting on geoscience diplomacy beyond 2020. Science diplomacy in the broadest terms is a set of practices at the intersection of science and foreign policy. It's a broad church of activities where science and technology are being used in conjunction with the Foreign Service to advance the diplomatic goals of a country. But science diplomacy is much more than that. It's about economic diplomacy. It's about ensuring that the policies that a country has can be implemented to the benefit of multiple countries. I think science diplomacy is uh, really very important for international relations and uh, is uh, in fact underused. So it's one of the important uh, elements of any diplomacy. Uh, it has different forms and shapes and I think that collectively the world and the international relations between countries would be um, you know, much, much better. We would have a, a peaceful and more sustainable world if we engage in a more science diplomacy with each other. We truly believe that researchers uh, need and can be much more involved in public policies, uh, foreign affairs policies, but any other policy in, at the national, regional or supranational level. Researchers need to understand and learn how to uh, approach policy makers and politicians in order to bring scientific evidence into the public policy discussion. We are basically responsible about reflecting with all other work package members, the consortium and beyond with practitioners what science diplomacy is, how it can be used, whether it is meaningful, to whom it is meaningful, in what situations. Yeah, I think this is a sort of a label uh, uh, that is uh, 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 very interesting to gather people from different uh, backgrounds uh, to discuss uh, interlinkages between two different fields, science and, and diplomacy. And I would say also that uh, maybe this is um, a social word this is about a social world or a social space uh, that some actors, scientists, uh, diplomats, uh, people who uh, identify themselves as science diplomats feel they belong to this, this space, to this world. So I think uh, for us, uh, Spain as a country, to be able to participate in those kind of projects of uh, the construction of science diplomacy in Europe are very fundamental, very critical because we uh, through the contacts, the networking, the activities are also building up our community. We bring to all these, to, to, to these events, we bring diplomats, we bring scientists and they, they realize how important this trend is uh, now in the present that of course will be in the future. We have had a, a, an explosive, let's say, development of, the, of, of science in Spain in the last, uh, not 40, but even 20 years or even less. Uh, our country has become uh, one of the, one key contributor to, to the world science. We have to, we have to try to come to the, that our institutions, ministries, follow the path that the scientists have taken. That's, I think, very important for us. Science diplomacy 
can play an essential role in reinforcing Spanish diplomacy? From a very basic point of view, at a time when people get their facts from the internet, I think a diplomacy based on facts, on data, on scientific evidence is of the utmost importance. Well, in my opinion, there are many, many skills that a science diplomat needs. Um, many of them have been discussed widely. You, I think you need um, communication skills and, of course, you need your professional skills. You need to know what you're talking about. But in my working experience and, in my opinion, the most important thing is that you have the ability to connect to people and to build networks and then um, work with these networks and build trust with the people you want to work with. I think that's the most important thing if you want to be a successful science diplomat. A science diplomat should be familiar with science, how science works, the science community works, the various networks that there are between scientists and also between scientists and policy makers. 